This video is a little bit late and we had to wait a while after set 2, but the next set in overdress is finally here. Stand up! Bangano! Welcome back to a new unboxing. It's been a while that we have a new set. Also, I'm aware this is a little bit late, but because of circumstances, I couldn't really do this video earlier than today. But we finally are opening the new set for Overdress. And more importantly, we also have a new Trotic that comes co alongside with it because we have a brand new nation, the sixth nation, Lyrical Monasterio. And we're gonna start off very big with this one. Now, of course, you probably know about a lot of these products because I've talked about this in the past in the channel quite a lot. So I'm not gonna delve into it all too much and we're gonna do it relatively quick in in con in in terms of this channel with videos but there's one thing i want to uh, highlight at the very least this is the very first trial deck that we're getting for overdress or for the new standard version because all the other decks that we got were starter decks so it's this is a little bit different than the other ones as for one thing we actually uh, get the potential of an sp in this one as every single card as far as i'm aware has a chance to get a triple r foiling so every trial deck has a different card that's going to be blinged out so you can collect them all which is good for high rarity seekers and potentially collectibles and vi viables as well if you buy these tra trial decks but there's also one thing that's unique to this particular trial deck to any other and i grab the old alt mall for v series you probably can see it immediately but the tab on the top it's on the front instead of on the back because and i don't know why they decided to do that to change but apparently they decided that they want to hang it on the front instead of hanging it on the back but that's the only difference that i've noticed with these ones besides just a change in art design of the products themselves but that's besides the point we're gonna tackle what's inside of these products they're relatively standard but i'm curious of what type of triple r we're going to get they are really good stick together holy crap what is this tape okay that's one done now we need to have the other side oh my god i should have brought a knife with me Okay, got it. Okay. So I believe we also have more stuff because the original starter decks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is also what we got in these ones. Because the original ones, only the starter decks just come with the deck and that's it. But here we have the the playmat with no instruction at back once again. So we just have standard this time a blue version of the playmat. Pretty nice. Pretty clean, pretty clean, but nothing really remarkable of that. Also, man first guide instruction manual, very important. We have the deck, but this is also new with Overdress. We've get, got these power counters. So with one starter deck, you get one of the 5, 10, 15, and 20k power counter. It also comes with a crit uh, assigned to the side. And we've got the 1, 2, 3, 4 counter with also another crit on the top here as well so if you want to collect these ones you need to buy a lot of trial decks to actually make them useful but there's also other options with another sponsor on the channel but we're going to talk about that in a different video because one thing that i need to clarify before we dive into uh, any further in this video these products were of course once again sent by a lovely sponsor on the channel of course parkage so if any of these cards that you're interested in what we're going to talk about within this set as well as well if you're interested in more Trodex with these lovely power counters you can head over to parkage and order your singles products case splits whatever you want for overdress or maybe even another card game for a good price but if you want to get everything with a more cheaper price with more discount, you can use the discount code TIMELEAP5 to get 5% off on your entire order. So once again, I want to give a huge shout out to Parkage for sponsoring this video and sending these products to me. But that said, almost forgot it. Let's dive straight back into the unboxing and see what high rarity card we're going to get in this uh, product. So... I'm not sure how, how many you're guaranteed. Usually you have like the grade, grade 3, the grade 2, the grade 1 and another card. Usually a trigger or something guaranteed. 
but I don't know what the new gimmick is for Overdress. So let's take a look. So we have a Kyrie foiled. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but we have one foiled and then three, uh, two normals. So I assume there's another one in the back that makes this suspense of which high rarity you get. Then we have three of the grade twos, which are all just normal. Then we have three of the grade one, which are all normal. Then we have four of the grade three supporter card, which basically gets, it's a 10k that gets 10k. Then we got three of the vanilla. We have four of the grade two that's similar to the grade three that gains power. Only in this case, it needs to use a counter less. Then we got four of the PG. Then we got four of the new grade one version of uh, Lisa Lot, basically the nerf version of Lisa Lot. So four copies of that. We got the Cray Elemental Over Trigger. We got three crits, four draws, three fronts, three heals, and then we've got two of the new set order for Lyrical that basically gives power to your board. So I assume any of these cards can be another uh, higher version, and I assume that Kyrie can be an SP as well. I'm not 100% sure on that one. So Kyrie is just normal. Then we got a normal version of the grade 2, normal version of the grade 1, and then our foil is the starter, and we got a normal of the crit, and a foil of the heal. Okay, that's interesting. So, you get three foils per Trotic, I assume, because I now have the starter, the heal, and grade 3 Kyrie. And I assume the Kyrie is guaranteed. And then these two are random, I think. I'm not sure if the heal or the starter is guaranteed as well. But yeah, I got a starter and the heal, which is actually pretty decent because they're very generic and can be used in any Lyrical Monasterio deck that I might build in the future. So that's actually pretty nice. But overall, that's the contents of the trial deck itself. So that said, let's jump straight into the box. So with, with the magic of editing, let's dive straight into that one. So here we have the box and there's not really a lot to talk about this box in the, except for the fact that it's just one nation and we have a total of 120 cards for this nation. 10 triples, 12 doubles, uh, 5 uh, over triggers. So we have one type of over trigger but 5, five different artworks. Uh, 30 rares and 63 commons. And then for the high rarities, we've got 5 LSRs, which are basically the right line boss units. And then we also have a special potential of the special pack, which is the lyrical special pack that then contains uh, the mermaid version of the main cards from the trial deck that we just opened up. And then we got 50 SPs and 50 hollows, which is not really anything new that we've seen before. So I assume we get one SP guaranteed in one box, a couple of hollows, and then a couple of triples, and the rest is basically what we've seen so far every single time. But let's see if we're lucky with our SP, or if we get an LSP, or maybe the special SP pack for the stutter deck. There's a lot of potential of goodies here, and although it's only one nation, we got a total of, I believe... Five right lines, yeah, five right lines in this box and support for the right line of the starter deck. So a lot of different cards. We talked about this on the channel multiple times before, but for anybody that's very new or just want to see an unboxing, then you know at least what we can expect. So we got the commercial. Oh, did, this I didn't know about. So we've got a power, a promo, a promo power counter for, I believe the DJ Groove game for Bush Road. And yeah, so it's it's just a generic power counter with I believe one of the one of the girls from the new game that they have the new rhythm game. So if you're interested in that, you can check it out as well. D4 DJ Groove Mix, I believe. So that's neat. I believe I think we're gonna get the, you get one with a different artwork in every box. But that's side we are here for the packs mainly. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 packs total to go over. So let's just dive straight into it and see what we get, what our lucky pulls are, and if we are a bit lucky. My main uh, my main interest within these sets is the Lauren Roll ride line, so I hope we're going to get mainly cards for her. We're going to get her trip art, and if we get a high rarity, I hope it's her, but we have to wait and see what we're going to get out of these pulls. So first off, we begin good because it's the... Uh, Guardian for Learner Roll. So we have El we have uh, Elmer, which is nice. Then we have 
Dependable Senior Ares. We got Candid Big Sister Audrey. We got Sky Quiver Quivering Motion Malibuel. We also got one of the PGs. This, just like the Over Triggers, we have one type of perfect guard, but they all have different artworks. This is Default of Refreshing Calm Christine. And then we've got Wish Fulfilling by a pair of Milia, which is one of a two card combo. And then our first holo is Blue Haired Prodigy Reckius. So this is basically the similar card of the Trotic one with the Great Free that gains 10k when placed. This is on a Great 2 version, but then on a 3k body. So our first pull is a holo of that Great 1. Okay, next up for the next pack, we once again have an Iris. We once again have an Audrey. We once again have a Malibuel. What is this pack? Okay, there's a new card. We got Steady Progress Pecore. We got a Blitz. Yeah, Blitz Order. Uh, Luminescence Fountain. Then we've got Advent Stroke Sadiel. This is actually a pretty neat card for the Black Wings White Wings deck. And then... Ooh! Okay, so we immediately got our SP at... Lo hold and behold, it's a Lauren Roll SP because this is Honest Council President Ekanoa. This is, I believe, the double R for Lauren Roll as her effect is auto rear guard circle once turn when this unit attacks. If you have a Vanguard, if your Vanguard song is a song, which only Lauren Roll can do, this turn this unit gets power plus 5k until the end of the turn, then cost counter plus 1 and discard a card from your hand and draw 2 cards. This is a really nice card, and having her SP is pretty, pretty nice. Of course, there were better SPs in terms of Forlorn Roll, but I take it. I take this, honestly, every single day. This is actually really, really nice. So let's see if we can keep our luck up in this department and keep pulling the correct card. So next up, we've got Head Grupo Merlin. Then we've got Windy Harmonico Tertus. We got Flight of Yonder Cheluel. Uh, we got... Uh, Frobbing Search, Lord Roll, the Grid 1 of the right line. We then get uh, Epilom Sight, Grete. Uh, one of the other PGs, this time we got Sarka. And then for our first triple, we got Prismagica Willista. So this is a very... It's an, it's a questionable triple art. Depending on what your stance is, there, she's either really bad, she's either underwhelming, or can be a card that just needs the right cards to make her work in the future. I think she has potential, but right now not too amazing, but I think she can be really good if we get the correct cards with the upcoming Lyrical Monasterio set. Then for next pack, we got the Heal Trigger Languing Relaxation Margaret. Then we've got Relaxed Conversation uh, Philomena, which can be car a useful card for Lorna Roll. Then we got Dignified Will Clarissa. We got Everlasting Sapphire for Willista. Then we got another copy of Elmer. Then we've got Ernest member Catalin. And then we've got Ernest Collect Leader Clarissa. So this is the one of the other main trip bars out of this set. So either Lauren Rule or uh, Clarissa is probably one of the better decks in this set. So that's actually a really good pull. We got Dragon Girl right of the second trip bar. So hopefully our trip bar luck keeps uh, coming up. As we still got a couple of very good cards that we need to pull. Now for next pack, we've got Romantic Happiness, the great one song. We basically only need one copy of this. Then we've got Clean Clean. I think they keep changing this name every single time I see this card. Because I, I've seen multiple translations for this card so far. Then we got Advancing Courage Berthier. Uh, then we got Running Start Youth Heida. Then we've got Charming Style Cecilia. Then we've got Heavenly uh, Recital Emmanuel. And then for the other trip bar, we've got Innes Vocal Akeel. So this is the main support card for the Black Wings White Wings deck. She's pretty good. I think if you're going to play the deck, she is a must-have for off. But overall, our pulls are very top-heavy. We already pulled an SP. We already pulled three triples. Um, where are our doubles and just our hollows? What's going on here? Okay, so next up for the pack, we've got Friendship Hilda. And then we got Love Glazing Tirasiel, then we got Precise Curriculum Libus, then Little Lady Helmina, then we've got Tense Moment Katie, uh, Distinct Werner's Floor, and then another triple again, Jesus! We've got Capriccio Circulation Star Ingrid, so this is a support card for the Ghosty deck, or the Vampire Girl deck. Um, yeah, so we got two boss units and two supporters for triples. I think this is the last triple. I don't think you get more than four triples in a box unless they change the pull rates. 
But that means we don't have lore in the roll, which makes me kind of sad. But maybe we can change our luck a little bit around, but we have to wait and see till the rest of the packs. Why do we already have pulled four triples? What's going on here? Uh, next up, we got the draw trigger to Fick and Fluffy Siesta Hilma. Then we got uh, Spiritosa Richalda. Then we've got uh, Glutton Nora, the crit. We got Classy Breeze Harriet. Then we got Fulfill Sweet Angelma. Then we've got Shining as is Elasteel, the Great Teal of the Ride Line. And then for our Hollow, we've got Everlasting Sapphire. Honestly, the Hollows for these gems look actually pretty sick. They look very nice because also they're mainly a gem on the artwork. So this, that's very fitting. I, I, I like these uh, Hollows a lot. Um, let's see if we can get the Ruby as well. That would be nice. Um, then for next pack, we've got Howling Ballet Fenimel. We got Florenzia. Uh, best rival train. We got the great zero with us, so the starter. We got another heal in the likes of Prell. Then here we have Ruby, but this is just a normal rare. And then for a double R, we've got aim to be the strongest idol. So this is the support card that we have, or the uh, the order card for Clarissa. So if I want to make Clarissa work, I need to have at least one copy of this. So nice to have at least pulled one as well. Then next for the pack, we've got the front trigger. Then we've got another draw trigger for Sigoel. Then we've got the great one Willis stuff for the right line. Then we got em uh, Emmeline, this is the other card for one of the first cards that we pulled in our first pack for the duo. Then we've got the great two of Lauren Roll. So we have pulled the great one and the great two. Then we've got uh, Katina, which is support card for Willista. And then for our uh, for our next holo, we've got Brainy Player Bibuel. So one of the support cards for the White Wings Black Wings deck. Then follow up with our next pack. We've got Face Off and Overcome. This is the order card for the Black Wings White Wings deck. Then we've got Romana. Then we got Active Life Jerry. We got Blooming Season Rudy. Then we got the grade 0 for Lorne Roll. So we pulled the entire ride except for the grade 3. Then we got the grade 2 song, Me Meta Red Runaway. So we got the grade 1 and one of the grade 2s. And then our over trigger is Blessing Diva Grisael. This is the angel over trigger, which honestly I think of all the over trigger artworks from what I remember, I like this one the most. So I'm very happy with this over trigger pull, which is pretty, pretty good. Then for the next pack. We've got another uh, Peccary. Then we've got another Luminous Fountain. Now we've got the Great One Felty Rosa. I think that's the first Felty Rosa that we've seen so far. Then we've got the Great One Clarissa. I think we saw the Great Two and the Great Zero, so that's completely the entire right line. Then we've got uh, Hell Week. Then we got the normal version because we already pulled the uh, hollow version of this card. And then for our double R, we've got Fleeting Longing Barrowell. So that's another double. So, so far we only pulled, I think, yeah, this is a hollow. So we only pulled three, two doubles and an over trigger. So we should get a couple of doubles back to back right now. Then for the next pack, we've got Evelina. Another copy of Merlene. Then another, I think we already got a Chantel. Otherwise, now we've got the first version. Uh, Hannah Loro. Then we got a normal version of Bibuel. And then we've got Renata, and then for, I believe this is a hollow. And indeed, this is a hollow. We got Advent Strikes Sadel. So I already saw her in our normal rare version. Now we also got a hollow version of her. Okay, next pack. We've got Danuel. I think this is the first time we, uh, the third time that we pulled her now. Uh, we got Justine. Now we got the Great One and a Steel. We got a Crit Trigger, another Crit Trigger. Then we've got a different PG. This time we got Riv Ravina, Riviena. And then for our double R, we've got Ernest Supporter Leona. So we got two doubles in favor of our Clarissa. So our Clarissa deck is actually coming, qu coming along quite well out of this box. Then next up, we've got Midnight Lesson Vanna. Then we got Louch. We got Teresia. Prell, another Felty Rosa. So now we got also the Great Two. We got Annalise, another support card for Felty Rosa. And then we got a Hollow Crit Trigger in the likes of Original Style uh, Etchuka. So that's already five Hollows. I think that's the last Hollow. So with 
free doubles, I think the last two packs are both going to contain double rares. So let's see if I'm correct with my calculations here. So next up we got another draw trigger. Then we got another heal trigger. Then another copy of Philom Philomena. Then we got the great zero Clarissa. Then another Sapphire. Then we got Endora. And then for our double R, we've got Six Flower Fractal. So this is probably one of the be best cards for Lorn Roll. And also one of the best artworks within this set, if I'm going to be very honest. So I'm happy that at least of the Lorn Roll cards, besides the SP, of course, we pulled this one. This is also a card that could have been SP, but... I think this is fine that we ha that we got this one. I think this I would have favored this one a bit more, but I cannot complain right now. And then for the last pack, I believe we have one more double R to go here. So let's see what that double R is going to be. So we've got Scrambling Sprint Selma. Then we've got the Great Zero Elisteel. Then we got another Heal. Then we got Vibrant, Vibrant Symphony. Then we got the Great Zero Velti Rosa. Then we got Trilby for the Rare. And then for our double R, we've got Opposing Kindness Virginia. This is actually a really nice double R because she's very generic. And she can be used in a lot of decks. Gives you counter charge, opens up the field, which can combine very nicely with Veldy Rosa. And maybe even with uh, Kyrie. So overall, this is also a pretty nice card to have. And that also rounds up all the pulls in parts of the high rarity as well. Now... I'm going to move over putting these all in a, in a binder so we can get a good overview of what I pulled in one box. So that said, once again, I leave it over to the magic of editing. So here we have the new binder with the new Lyrical Monasterio cards from the set. Not the trial deck, just the set. And if you're wondering why I'm keeping my hand here, if I don't, the camera is screwing with the auto autofocus, as you can see right here. So I need to keep my hand here. So... Let's take a look at what one box of Lyrical Monastery can bring us for the entire collection of the set itself. So first off, here we have just the triples. So we have four of the triples. Ironically, we got number one, which is Clarissa. I don't know if the light, if you can see it from the lighting, because I have some glare going on here. Well, we have Clarissa. We have one of the double R's. And here we can slowly see see our way where we can see more of the pages being filled out. So the doubles and triples, we miss a couple, but that's to be expected as we only get five per box and we get the over trigger one of them and we only have four triples. But then if we move up to the rares, we can see that we almost filled out almost everything because we only miss a couple of gaps here for the rares themselves. But then we come to the commons and we basically got every single common in one box so all these pages are basically filled out which is actually pretty nice so and i think this is the case for basically every set within overdress that you get almost every common almost every rare and then of course you need a couple of the doubles and triples as it's impossible to get them all as i believe there are 10 triples and 15 doubles so you need a couple of boxes to fill out those or just get them from the secondary market if you want to finish out a complete uh, collection. Then if we come to the SPs, or in this case the uh, LSPs, now we, which are five, and I missed them, uh, or yeah, which are five, but I miss, missed them all, of course. And the seven uh, of the uh, seven of the special packs, of course, didn't pull those. And then of the SPs, I've got this one, which is number nine, uh, Honest Council President e e Eknoa, which is the only SP that we've got. So the rest of the pages are pretty empty until we get to the hollows which we got five or four this is four we got five so and i think this is number 50 this is the last hollow so again when we look at the higher rarity slots of course it's very blank as you don't really get a lot from one box so these are the pages that i need to fill out if i want to complete the collection as a whole but it's a bermuda set or at least it's now a lyrical set, which we can assume is going to be expensive to get everything done. But that's something we have to work slowly towards in the coming months, maybe years, depending on how long I'm going to do it in uh, filling out this binder itself. But that's about everything for the unboxing for Lyrical Monasterial. It's been a very interesting set. It's... Um, 
it's a new nation. It has a lot of different playstyles. We covered about, we talked about it a lot. There's also a lot of content out there for YouTube from different content creators covering all these uh, topics. So if you're interested in one of any of these uh, decks themselves, of course you can go to Parkets to order your your singles, maybe if you're boxes or child decks, if you need some pieces, and don't forget to use the discount code TimeLeap5. But also, if you want more information around them, you can either check it out on this channel or any of the other channels covering this subject, as there's a lot to talk about. And very soon, there's gonna be even more because Lyrical Monasterio Set 2 is very, very close for Japan. It's next year, at the early of next year, in somewhere January, February, so there, it won't be too long once we're gonna start talking about Lyrical on stereo again but in the meantime we've got these cards to, uh, to play with we've got six right lines six new decks from which a couple of multiple strategies so there's enough to keep us a bit busy for the coming months when we still need to play with these cards but overall that's been the entire unboxing i hope you guys enjoyed it if you're interested in more about the collection aspect because this is one of my binders you i think you guys have seen the binder that i did with set two but there are, are a lot of cards that I haven't shown on camera. And if you're interested about that, I might make a future video about that. But that's uh, something I want to know from you guys in the comments down below. But that said, I'm very curious what you guys think. So let me know in the comments down below. And as always, guys, I've missed a time leap. And I'll see you guys in the next one.